Good morning to all of you. We'll start with anesthesia. You know, surgery was all time an agony. People don't want to get on to surgery because of the pain involved. The pain was such a horrible factor that prevented people from going to surgery. And that is why science have never had a control on pain until October 16, 1846. October 16th. 1846. After October 16, 1846, something happened in history of anesthesia, which is an important MCQ, which means it is during that time that is a world which we celebrate today as a World Anesthesia Day or World Anesthesia Day or Ether Day, October 16, 1846. It is when, when W.T.G. Morton, William Thomas Green Morton, demonstrated to public that you have control on pain. Science have control on pain. Science have control on pain and the first volatile agent he used was ether. Ether, uh, that's an MCQ, World Anesthesia Day, October 16 is an MCQ. The William Thomas Green Morton is a third MCQ. He is considered as a father of anesthesia. Is that clear? So, these are the three points which we are, uh, which we need to know about the history of anesthesia. Now, you know, before that it was all time a pain and after the William Thomas Green Morton demonstrated to public that uh, you can bring about control on pain and it became more acceptable, surgery became more acceptable to people. And then people don't know what to call this temporary lossing of consciousness or temporary lossing of pain sensation. And it is, uh, it is when, when a poet among, a poet among the scientists who were presented during the public demonstration on October 16 and his name is Oliver Wendell Holmes. Oliver Wendell Holmes. Oliver Wendell Holmes. Uh, he demonstrated he or he mentioned uh, the term anesthesia for the first time to the public. So, the term anesthesia is coined by Oliver Wendell Holmes and the first public demonstration was by uh, William Thomas Green Morton. So, these are the MCQs associated. Please note that Majendi is another term which you should know. Majendi is another scientist who actually coined the term CSF. Sir, uh, CSF as you know it consists of 150 ml, the total volume is 150 ml, 75 ml is located in the brain and 75 ml located in the spinal cord. So, the term is put forward by Majendi and you know it gets circulated every sixth hourly it, uh, in the body. Every sixth hour early, it get uh, circulated or replaced. So these are the MCQs which you need to know about uh, the CSF. Now, please note there are a few MCQs. You know, uh, one of the earliest problem that people had to treat was mental illness. And during those times, people thought that mental illness was due to some evil spirits infested into the brain. And you know, the best way the best way to get rid of this evil spirits were to make burr holes on somebody's head. So, making burr holes on somebody's head, what happens? The, there will be a total loss of consciousness and then they gradually settle down and they say, okay, the disease has cured now. Now, because of this, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a very weird uh, kind of treatment for somebody's mental illness. And this was uh, popular all over the world. And one of the, uh, you have heard of a person called Carl Koller. Carl Koller is an MCQ. Carl Koller, he was actually an obstet, uh, he was actually an ophthalmologist who were practicing ophthalmology during that time. He had a habit of traveling uh, outside, outside the Europe. And during his travel, he found out that when he reached an island, he noticed a strange, uh, strange character that they used to make holes on somebody's head to relieve their mental illness, which was very common even in the mainland. So, he thought, okay, this is fine. But there is a subtle difference. There is a subtle difference that here the surgeon, the so-called surgeon who is making hole on somebody's head, chew some, chew, chew some leaves and spit it onto the head of this patient to make this uh, hole. So, now you see that situation. So, this is what is known as uh, the first demonstration of cocaine. The chews, the, what the leaves he chewed was cocaine. And cocaine leaves were chewed by this uh, people in, or you call them the aborigines who are situated.